Okay, everybody, load up onto the mud flap. Oh, sorry. On the table, we have Fortnite vehicles from Jazzwares. Hey everyone, it's Dan at Squirrel Stampede. Look at that, we have the Fortnite Mud Flap Truck RC. This thing will really haul. We've also got a race car whiplash and a reboot fan with lots of technology inside. These are really interesting trucks and vehicles this year, fall 2021. Also a couple figure packs. There's always figures dropping, so we have a lot of interesting things to drive around with today. So let's get these open, see how fast they drive, haul, speed off, and uh, reboot. Hmm, squirrel stampede. Please, squike, squirrel eyed, and a squamant. Let's start big and go with the mud flap truck and relax fit Jonesy. You're gonna steal that truck, right, Landry? It's what I do. The mud flap is another RC toy from Jazzwares Fortnite. They always seem to have at least an RC toy once a year. Also with remote control and bumper activated sounds, and I believe we can customize with some stickers. On the back of the box, relax, fit Jonesy, victory, or whatever else you've got. He's not picky. Kind of reminds me of the dude, or relaxed fit Thor, which I think I might do a live build on this set soon. Breaking walls since chapter two, season three, play and display fits up to 10 four inch figures. This package looks wildly hard to open. Gots to use your teeth. I'm still going to steal it. All right, Mudflap, just, just get out of the box. Uh... Mudflap, out of the box, huge. Look at this giant red truck. Might be the largest RC Fortnite yet. Pretty well detailed from the front. Uh... And all other sides. Opening and closing door, I would hope. Yeah, that's how you're gonna get the dude in. Great labeling graphics everywhere. There's only two spray decals here. They say you're supposed to be able to recustomize these. will repeal off wherever you place. We'll have to give that a shot. Oh look, mud flap has mud flaps. And a spot to add on a back end of a truck. I wonder. I have a trailer here from Optimus Prime. Ah, uh, it's just a little too small. And this is a large trailer. Oh well, maybe I could figure something out. I'm figuring stealing. Wait till the batteries are installed. Batteries? That's right, batteries. Now this is nuts. A lot of batteries. Six double A's to drive this thing, and three for the remote. Let's get those loaded in somehow, probably on the base here. Jazzwares is kind enough to include two batteries, probably for the sound effects. We'll remove and just add our own. And there we go, why did I say three triple A's? Just two triple A's in the remote. We should be good to finally turn this on. There's so much weight now with these extra batteries installed. Switch up a front. I think it's louder. And to pair, usually you just turn these on at about the same time and they should start sinking into each other. Whoa. I just dented my back wall. I've got to be very careful. Where'd the dude go? Over here. Get in the truck. We don't have all day. All right. Jonesy, what did you do? Uh -uh. Okay, things are fighting me here at first, but it's actually really helpful. Sitting down Jonesy with this kind of cape on him is a little difficult. He's not the best figure to place as a driver, but he still works. What's nice is we have a flip down windscreen that helps you get Jonesy seated inside. And the doors are very temperamental. They're not really hitched onto a post or anything. You kind of just got to get them to pop in more panel-like. Maybe installing the doors with the windscreen down a little easier too. And if the doors are really fighting you, you don't need them, so you could remove them entirely. Okay, Jonesy's now inside. And we're good for a quick test drive. Oh, this thing has some power. We gotta add some figures to it though. Let's check out one of these figure packs. Are you going to steal it yet? Patience, Barry, patience. A nice new multi-pack here. Kind of a foodie pack here with Guaco, the Brat, Hot House, and Gut Bomb. With weapons, harvesting tools, and building materials, grass. Notice the new Fortnite packaging, by the way, for the fall 2021. Very nice. 
Over on the back of the box, Gut Bomb, a good burger gone bad. Guaco, stay crunchy. Guaco's coming. The Brat, relish the winds. Hot House, you feel in the heat. Plus lots of other figures going to hit soon, right? Let's open up. Good looking group in this squad mode pack, the Tomato Town Legends. Guaco, the Brat, Hot House, and Gut Bomb. A real silly pack starting with Guaco. Very nice bright yellow and green shirted. You kind of have to bob his head down to have him look forward. Usually he's kind of looking just straight up, which is kind of a good crawling stance by the way, but yeah, kind of bob his head down and pretty much the same articulation you see with all of these four inch figures, nice fork and knife harvesting tools. The Brat, one of the figures I really wanted to see in 4 inch mode. Look at this guy, oh his hat removes, I did not expect that, it just popped right off. There's a little bit of a post there to keep it held on, it, it holds on tight enough. We've got mustard down its chest and a mustard harvesting tool. And oh, the articulation on his arms feels a little better, a little clickier today. There's even a little bit of a hinge on his wrist, very nice, and waist rotation and all sorts of rotation and leg movement. He's gonna stand up well, I like this one quite a bit. Hot house here, very well armored up all around. Nice blue hoodie on the back. All sorts of gear with this one. Oh, and I really like the pizza slicer harvesting tool. I've got one of those in large scale. And finishing up with Gut Bomb, kind of similar to Hot House in a way with the hoodie and a lot of this extra armor detail going through. Band-Aids over his eyes, how is he gonna see? How do you see? I guess he just uses his hamburger senses of the force. Oh, and there's Hot House's spatula harvesting tool. Also weapons included, we've got a couple legendary. How many times have we seen this? And what's this? I don't think I've seen this one before. That's a really nice new weapon in the series. Okay, everybody load up onto the mud flap. Oh, sorry. That got out of control fast. There are points of contact all over the mud flap. Posts for their feet, here's one just right up here. And we've got grip bars in several spots. Feels like the grip on the figures are tighter today. There's a little peg right here too, that's kind of a hard spot to get to. Let's place the brat on this side. And let's place Guaco maybe on the back here. I'll double peg him in for strength. Can we try Hot House on the side here? Maybe I don't know what he'll grab onto. He's kind of just free hanging on there. Oh, harvesting tool. Yeah, I don't know. That post even feels a little lighter than the others. Maybe I'll just hang him off the side. That's really cool looking. Clear the table and do a quick back and forth. Oh, this thing has so much power to it. We'll I'll try to give it some open space in just a second. All right, well, while Landry is joyriding the mud flap, let's take a look at the Fortnite reboot van from Jazzwares with Recruit Jonesy, reboot style, all in light blue. Or is he a Jedi ghost? One of the two. For some reason in the game, I've never really used the reboot van. I always kind of walk by it and go, what the heck is that all about? So I don't know much about the reboot van. Recruit Jonesy, no outfit, no problem. Pull lever to reboot, recruit Jonesy, light up bass, and seven reboot sound effects. It's a very nice detailed van. I'm really interested in this one. It was a little harder to find, actually. I found Mudflap and Whiplash the fastest, and then I took a couple weeks to find the reboot van, but it's finally out, so let's get it out of the box, see what it's about. The reboot van out of the pack. I'm pretty impressed with all the detail on this van. It is so really interesting going on. TV screens on each side. Over on the back has the most detail. This little lever here is going to help. Raise and lower your blue recruit Jonesy figure. Lots of sounds going on, it's crazy. That lever works really well, I'm impressed. We've got rolling free moving wheels and a lot of cage around this truck for reinforcement. So to get Jonesy inside to reboot, to open the front there's a button on top here. Press this, what happens again? Ah, we've opened the front of our car and it's kind of like a storage area option. There's no chair or anything to drive the van. That's all by pure thought or however the reboot van works. 
Can we see inside there? It's kind of dark. Okay, is that helping a little bit? Yeah, pretty open and vacant in there. A lot of sitting room, taking a nap room. Now this would be how you get your Reboot Jonesy inside, but I think that's going to be a really tight fit to load him in from this angle. I'd rather just load him in from the top. I'm not really sure why they even bother saying load him from inside, but this is a great indoor storage option for figures, accessories, all sorts of things you could smash on into the Reboot van and then close up your door. And so now we'll load in Recruit Jonesy, and again, this lever right here. Look at the lights on this thing. Nice LED. It's blue and green. It's showing up green on my camera, I think. But I think this will be a much easier spot to load him in. Let's see if it holds him. Oh, I was worried about that. Maybe hold in the lever. Uh, it's a little loose. I'm going to place my hand inside my fingers under this bumper so I can get a nice grip onto Jonesy. Oh, there he goes. I think they made the posts a little bit tighter and longer so they hold on to the figure better. I only got one foot grounded, so let's see what happens. There he is. Oh, there he goes. Whoa, he almost flew out on that one. Okay, this time I have both feet firmly pegged in into the base. Let's give him a launch. He is now inside the reboot fan, and let's reboot Jonesy by pressing down. There he is! It works! It works really well! That's impressive how well he holds onto that plate. Oh, there he goes! So yeah, a pretty impressive action feature on that one. Just a little tricky to get him to stand on that face without it falling in on you. Definitely open up this front here. You could try having him placed in onto this pad with it all the way down. It's just, there's not much finger room, so I've been lifting it up to the top and then putting my hand under and then placing him on top. That, that worked the easiest for me. Play around with it, I think you'll have a lot of fun. It's pretty silly. I like, too, how he's glowing on the pad. I think that's a really cool effect. And I love launching him. One more vehicle to check out. We've got the Fortnite Whiplash with X-Lord in black. Jazzwares is really going with the Fortnite vehicles this fall. And that is why I really like the 4-inch scale. The ability to build vehicles pretty easily and they give your figures something to do and this one's fun. It's not just a name, it's a warning. Play and display fits up to two 4-inch figures. X-Lord, ransack every dimension. This one I do not believe has any kind of electronics, it's just kind of a fun car to zip around, so let's open up and test it out. And the Whiplash out of pack, kinda nice, just to have a simple non-electronic car next. And another Rust Lord figure, is this the second or third Rust Lord we've seen? But I like this version of the figure. Nice black leather jacket, purple undershirt, nice Seattle Seahawks inspired pants, and a nice little spiky helmet. Very nice figure. But it's more about the Whiplash, right? I think I will steal this one. The Whiplash, just a fun blue muscle car, racing stripes of white going down the hood and roof. It's fast, and we've got good rolly wheels, and I think this will be fast to the push. No batteries installed on this one, a little bit lighter than the first two we've looked at, especially the mud flap. Opening and closing doors. Let's get our driver in. It's those spikes on his helmet. Get in there. There we go. Hope we didn't break his head. And again, there's spots for another figure on the passenger side, opening and closing door. It's just a nice little quick vehicle for your Fortnite collecting needs. Now excuse me for one moment. Gonna need to take this to the forest for a while. Gotta watch out for those squirrels. There's also another figure pack available just now dropping. This one is a only a Target pack. The Polar Legends. I think I will hold this though a little closer to Christmas because it's definitely holiday themed. It's this year's holiday pack. We've got Lieutenant Evergreen. Just a tree here, move along. Code name ELF, mint, elusive, lethal, and festive. And Frozen Red Knight. 
Frozen Menace of Icy Tundra. There's enough holiday packs now. I think I could do like a Christmas inspired Fortnite tree. And there they are, a little closer up. Really nice work with Lieutenant Evergreen. Lots of new Christmassy pieces going on with that figure. And then Codename Elf and Frozen Red Knight, also very nice. Looks like we've got some candy cane striped weaponry again, very nice. And some awesome harvesting tools, plus four building materials. Now let's head outside really quick and check out some of the vehicle runnings of the Mudflap. And outside on our very decorative patio, testing out the mud flap, backwards going, doing some uh, three point. Oh, we just hit the whiplash a little bit. Sorry about that. That's a fender bender. Oh, almost hit reboot too. Practicing. Oh, oh no. Poor Jonesy. There they go that way. Uh, just kind of practicing some moves here. We're on kind of a rubbery surface, so we don't get the best smooth drive. Uh, ideal surface, hardwood floors, of course. Uh, there we go. Testing some more three-point turns, maybe. And it's moving pretty well, you know? It's got good, good all-around motion. Uh, good control to it. A little bit tight on steering, but pretty good. So now let's get out onto the open road. Here we go. A little bit of a sunny... Day, driving under some shady trees and wiggling about uh, which direction oh we'll go this way we'll head this way and doing a lot of wiggle motion uh, it turns pretty good but maybe a little bit after you think it would turn so and we drive by and oh I almost forgot to mention the bumpers uh, the finger bumpers on our remote activate the horns on the truck there the horn uh, so that's kind of a cool little extra feature I forgot to mention. I saw those on there. I'm like, what were those? And I forgot. But yeah, pretty nice. And there it goes a little bit again. And off we go into the sunset, driving about. The guys are... Oh, no, we just lost Guago. Guago has fallen off, but now we've got it back on. It's okay. Uh, yeah, so the guys hold on actually pretty well. It helps when they're gripping to the bar. Uh, like Brat is holding onto the bar, so he's holding on pretty good. And here I am chasing after as fast as I can. Chase, chase, chase. Uh, and this thing is moving. When it gets going, it hauls. It, it is a powerful, heavy truck, and so it likes to move. And so it's kind of fun to race behind it or race with it. Good truck. And coming around the corner, here comes the mud flap, and that way, and over here, and on its way home. Headed home with the mud flap. This was a pretty fun RC. I enjoyed playing with this today. This is a good, fun, all around RC toy. All right, the mud flap performance excellence. Even when driven by a squirrel, this thing hauls. This thing rockets up to full speed pretty fast. The main drive line is in this center wheel right here. This is where all the power comes from. Careful not to get it high centered, but that shouldn't be a problem with its speed. Turning radius is a little bit tight, or is that untight? It doesn't really like to turn very well, but I think that's because it's such a huge truck, and trucks aren't meant for turning and cookies. They're meant for speed and hauling characters around. So just an impressive drive, has great range, fantastic stability. There's no knocking this thing over. It is an enjoyable drive. Oh, I almost forgot about these stickers. What do we got? We got a Nana Nana sticker. Let's see if we can add one onto the hood. There we go. They say they're reusable, so I think you can peel them up and put them in different spots. There's also the hand. Another real fun Fortnite RC from Jazzwares today. Well, what a collection of vehicles. These were certainly fun. The mud flap hauls. Man, that thing takes off. It's really an enjoyable drive. I think probably my favorite RC now out of the Fortnite RCs. Well, maybe a toss up between the mud flap and the ATK. That's also a fun drive, that golf cart. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, and a squamint. Don't forget we have a new gaming channel going. Hey, one of these days I'll try to even play Fortnite. It's just going to take a while to get that going. But so awesome for everybody joining in over there and seeing some crazy games. I think this week we've got uh, either Minecraft or Roblox coming again. Roblox is too much fun. Anyhow, thanks for watching. That's what I have to say about that.